During my exchange year, I had a surgery. And here are the photos of that surgery. When it comes to exchange, there is something that most of the exchange students don't tell you. So today, I'm going to spill all of the tea about student exchange. Hi guys, it's me Jodi. Today we're going to talk about my exchange year. Even though we're like 255k family, I don't really talk about my personal things. And whenever I talk about my personal things, people really enjoy it. So today, here we are. I'm going to talk a little bit about my exchange year. My exchange year was wild. But before talking about the wild stories, let's talk about the program itself. So this video is not sponsored at all, but why if you, if you're down to sponsor me, please sponsor me. I went to exchange to Germany to be specific to Berlin for six months. They had two options for whole year and then six months, but I was too late to apply for a whole year exchange. So I decided to apply for a six month exchange. I went to exchange with a exchange program called VIFU Youth for Understanding, but there were so many friends of mine who went there with AFS and other other like exchange programs. I mean, I don't have any bias about the exchange programs, but people who went with VIFU were pretty satisfied with it. You can give it a shot. So would I recommend? Yes. Let's talk about the application process. So who can go to exchange here? Application process differs from country to country. In Turkey, like for students who are going to exchange from Turkey, the application process was really basic. You can literally choose whatever country you want to go. And there are like some documents that they want. Some countries need like a language certificate in order to go to that country so you gotta take that certificate etc but really it differs it really depends on your home country as well i talked with my five few japan friends and the application process is much like complicated than the YFU Turkey. So it really differs. So I can't really say anything, but when it comes to YFU Turkey, it's really chill. You can literally pick wherever you want to go and you can go. Also, when it comes to the money, there are scholarships. I went to Germany and for Germany, there was a scholarship, which one of my best friends got. They give like a pretty high scholarship. If you are worried about the money, you can apply for the scholarship. So apply for a scholarship. But when it comes to the six month exchange, programs like I did, there is no scholarship, so be careful for that. So now let's talk about the exchange. Exchange, student exchange, even though it seems like super fun, super cool, all day partying, not really studying at all and stuff, it's not the truth. It's actually really hard. The feeling of being alone, being away from your home country, from your home culture, and being in a country and culture that is totally different from you is really difficult. Especially if you're not mixed or if you're not an immigrant who grew up in a different culture, it's gonna be much harder for you. For me, I always experience cultural differences. In Japan, I'm a foreigner. In Turkey, I'm a foreigner. There is no home for me. I always feel alone, <laughs> which, is, which sounds really sad, but it's the truth. If you're an immigrant child or if you're a mixed kid, you probably experience that. When you go to another country, they don't accept you. If you go to another country, they say that they're like the other country. So there will be always someone else that's gonna discriminate you. That's how I grew up. Even though I felt this discrimination when I was growing up, exchange was still hard for me. So I can't even imagine the kids who grew up in a monocultural country experiencing that cultural difference, being alone for the first time in their life. I can't imagine it. And most of the people were really struggling. I struggled too, but I was lucky because my host family and host family's friends were super, super nice to me. But most of the students really struggled with that. You know, when talking about alone, I had a cruciate ligament surgery during my exchange year. We went for a ski to Austria with my host family. Um, it was around like third week of my exchange or something. I fell off and then <laughs> I got a surgery. When you enter exchange program, you have to pay for your insurance. And I had insurance, therefore I didn't pay anything for the surgery. But I literally had a surgery, y'all, during my exchange year. Nobody had surgery. I was the only one who had surgery during the exchange year. I couldn't walk. I used like those sticks for, I guess, three or four months or so. I did a rehab and it was really hard. But at that time, because I was in my honeymoon phase, which is the phase that is called, you're like literally in your honeymoon, in your brain. You're kind of like high. 
everything is new to you everything is nice and fun and you know you're just like in that state so it happened in that like honeymoon phase luckily so when during their exchange your your parents cannot visit you it's not allowed but like some parents visit their child while like breaking the rules probably in my case my family were allowed to come because it's just like a you know because it's a extraordinary situation so probably my family were allowed to come but i didn't want them to come i wanted to you know experience this by myself because i believe that if i would experience this by myself and figure out what to do what not to do by myself i felt like i can grow so much and i can be more independent i told my family to like please do not come i can handle this by myself so i was like literally begging my family to not to come because i really look at this situation in a positive way i thought oh you know, I'm an aspiring doctor and I can feel from the first hand the patient's situation in a hospital. If I would experience this in like abroad as a patient, I feel like it would give me the feeling of a patient. What would patient feel? What would patient love? And I was really thinking in a positive way. I had my surgery and then I had to like stay at a hospital for four days or something. I couldn't walk at the beginning. It was like really hurting. Even Ling was hurting. And and I used like for two days or so what is this wheelchair and then I use like these arm sticks and stuff and I also had to always like what is that like kind of lick thing which doesn't allow me to do more than like 60 degree angles and stuff you know I did a lot of like things but at that time I was really enjoying that because you can see the whole process the operation you know system and rehabilitations and stuff I really enjoy it but I was looking in a very positive way and that was probably why I really enjoyed my like surgery time a lot of people say that you can change the past but i don't think that that's true we can change the past by giving positive or negative meanings to them i think that's why even though there is a one history there are different historians and there are different histories because they give different meanings to the exact same thing that happened so we can change the history in my opinion and that's what exactly i did i looked in a very positive way therefore the struggles that most of the people would say was not struggle to me it was just a fun experience that would probably never happen in my life and since i'm an exchanger like having a surgery wouldn't affect me that much but if that would happen in my academic year i think that would totally like you know make my life shitty so i'm glad that it happened in my exchanger you know my host family was really great but i was really lucky a lot of people had problems with their host family i heard like a couple of people changing their host family because they had problems but when you have a problem with host family you gotta find a new host family by yourself at least that's what by a few rule is i didn't have any problems with my host family they were super nice their friends were nice i really really love my host family i love them so much like really grateful from bottom of my heart but i think it also depends on you as well if you just went to exchange for partying and not really talking with your host family not trying to understand the other culture and not communicating of course they're not gonna like you so it's important to have communication between of you you know you gotta make effort in order to like them and so that they can make the effort as well they are the one that you know just allowing you to stay at their home they're giving you food shelter also different opportunities so always be grateful for them you're not in the like equal situation in order to be in an equal situation because they give you food and house and you know a lot of opportunities you gotta give a good communication to them so that you can maintain a good relationship at least i was trying my best to understand their culture and bring my culture and you know communicate it's really really important Important. I've seen so many exchange students not really caring about their host family, not like acting them kind enough, respectful enough. It's not only host family's fault. Of course, there are like some host families that were horrible. Yes, but that's very like extraordinary. Most of the time, it depends on the two sides. So my recommendation is just keep a good communication respect the other person it's super 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 difficult to find a friend it's super hard because german people are not like so cheerful friendly as turkish people japanese people are more shy so if you would go to them they would talk to you and stuff but german people i was shocked i was shocked the cultural difference y'all in turkey when somebody like comes to your school comes to your class if 
she or he or whatever pronouns they use um, comes to that class at least like couple of people would come to you and say hi like how are you who are you where are you coming from and stuff but in Germany it doesn't happen and most of my friends were like alone and couldn't find German friends they were friends with other international uh, students in my case at that time K-pop was thing is still thing I know that but at that time I was listening K-pop too so that really helped me to connect with Korea booth <laughs> to find friends and stuff so I didn't have any problems with that but it was basically because of my looks because I look Asian as fuck <laughs> and they were like some like Korea booths it really helped me but otherwise other exchange students couldn't find friends and the only friends that they found was international friends but I heard that the people who went exchange to the US find really good friends even like relationships and stuff so it really differs country to country but if you're going to Germany don't expect people to come to you and be nice to you and be friends with you German people are I think more distant when it comes to friendship because their friendship is kind of different it takes time to build but it lasts for a very long time you know it's just a cultural difference I'm not saying which one is better or something it really depends on the country I think you gotta just like adjust yourself for that but for the majority of your exchanger the truth is you're gonna be alone you're gonna be alone prepare for that okay so another difficulty is that language is hard even though before going to germany like for exchange my german was like super good because german was my favorite subject at school and at that time we had our like teacher german teacher our, our teachers were german i didn't not like a crush but i admired him so so much i wanted to talk to him so badly that every single day i was going home and studying german for multiple hours in order to talk to him explain to him understand him i was studying multiple hours you all and it was not like something like crush or relationship wait it was just like a pure pure you know what what is that pure love pure admiration towards my teacher that I had back in the day and that really helped me so I was really good at German even though I was one of the best students in German classes like entire year it was really difficult because native speakers talk really fast and they use a lot of slangs that I didn't know because they don't teach slangs in schools and I didn't know that and a lot of people were doing grammar mistakes that we don't learn in school you know when I talk in Turkish or Japanese I do a lot of grammar mistakes and slangs and you know I really talk differently when you compare to those like textbooks so it was super difficult for me to understand and also my host family had friends in Austria and they have a Austrian German like accent I couldn't understand it at the beginning but at the end of my like exchange year I was easily able to understand the accent it takes a lot of time but during my exchange year I was studying German at least two hours a day in order to make my German better and that really helped and I was also talking to my host family quite a lot and they were really helping with that as well so language is hard a lot of my friends went to Germany without knowing German but at the end of the year they were able to talk German but the ones that were best in the group were the ones that studied regularly every single day and put the work in you know the ones who didn't study and only like learned from the environment weren't that good so in order to become a good in that language during your exchange year you gotta work first you gotta work bitch <laughs> another problem is that food problem of course the culture of food is really different going for an exchange my host family especially my host dad was really into cooking which I really liked. We used to like cook every single day after school and we used to eat like really delicious food, which I enjoyed. But when I asked my other exchange friends, they were not like that. They were literally eating like every single day bread and that was it. So it really depends where you go. But if you're like going to, for an exchange in Germany, be ready for breads and potatoes because they eat a lot. But my host family was really good at cooking. We cooked a lot and that also really helped for our communication as well. And we had a fun, you know, I was really lucky. I'm a lucky girl. For majority of the people, especially if you are not open to new foods, you're gonna struggle quite a lot. So another difficulty when it comes to exchange is that during the year you change a lot. I gained a lot of confidence. I became much independent. I think I became quite liberal and it just like changes the whole way you think. Changes your personality and things that you experienced, builds up your like new personality and when you go back 
your friends, your family were not able to understand you because they were not there and you changed a lot. You know what you experienced, but they haven't seen you like for a year, for six months and they don't know what happened. Because they don't know the between story, they can't understand you. And a lot of people had problems with friendships and families and stuff. An exchange program, I, at least five of you said us that you're gonna have a lot of problems when you come back because everybody has it, everybody changes and your family expects you to be old you, but you are new you, you know? When it comes to my friendships, I said, you know, one of my best friends went to Germany to foreign exchange as well. So it wasn't a big deal for me. Yes, I changed, but because my friends also changed, it wasn't a big deal for me. I said hundred times, I was so, so lucky. Your exchange year can be really fun, but at the same time, if it goes wrong, it can suck so much. You gotta be really careful. You gotta give effort to get to know people, to sustain it at a great level and you have to care about your mental health because <laughs> it's hard, it's so freaking hard. But at the end of the day, it's, it's an awesome experience that you can ever have and that you would never forget. It's one of the best experiences that I had in my life and people who went to exchange and people who didn't you can clearly see the difference. The maturity of people who want the exchange is insane. It's taught you so many things. You learn a lot of about relationships, friendships, about different cultures and foods and different people. Your like mind expands quite a lot. That's why I want to go to go for an exchange during my uni year as well. Because I gotta learn and meet with a bunch of people who I would never ever ever get to know in Turkey or Germany. That's why I want to live in other country other than Japan or Turkey because they're both in my comfort zone. And getting outside of your comfort zone is an amazing thing. Yes, it is scary, that's for sure. But when you experience like new things, your mind broadens so, so much. And the way you think, the way you pursue things gonna change so much. And it's an amazing, amazing experience. I really want to go for an exchange once more. If you are a parent or if you're a kid, go for an exchange. You might regret it, I'm not gonna lie. If you experience something really, really bad, you might regret it. But for the majority of the people, no matter what happens, most of the people are really happy with their exchanger and I would highly, highly recommend it. Thank you for watching. I hope you go for an exchange and I hope you will have an amazing year. Let me see you in my next videos. Bye bye.